know, Sandy, it's really interesting. As I looked at the firms that we worked with, and indeed the 50% failure rate showed up as we were getting in, but what was interesting for me was only half of that was because we didn't select the right person. Mm. Only half of that. The other half is that after we selected the, I don't know, the right person, they didn't mobilize the firm properly and they did too much. Mm. So half the time we were picking the wrong person, but the other half of the time they were doing too much. So each of these firms now had to create a value agenda which mirrored the money that was being made in the PE 2.0 world, but now in an organic operating world with the clock speed of PE. So they then went out and thought big, created big transformation programs, massive 100-day plans, and so on and so forth. And what I found is half of them essentially just stumbled off the you know, starting blocks because the agenda was so big, it couldn't move at the clock speed of private capital. And therefore, it moved too slowly. The firm was not on its uh, you know, new value curve, and the CEO would get fired, right? Oh, how do you think we could uh, you know, help in not just selecting the right person, but actually mobilizing the firm to, to, to move faster? Yeah. You know, I think, I think it's, it's really interesting, um, uh, Sumit, in, in that if we look at these CEOs, and it was so ironic that we would put all of this effort and energy and everything into understanding the, in, the investment thesis yeah. and how we were going to convert this investment thesis into a 100-day plan, which a language you and I would use, is into a value agenda that we can actually go and, and capture it. Right. And then when we were going and looking for a CEO, we didn't necessarily utilize the value, the, agenda. The value agenda to pick the person. Right. And so, shocker, we picked the wrong person a lot. But to your point on the, um, let's say that we even got lucky, we picked the right person, and then you see, what is it that the winners do that the others don't? And it was the one thing that you're putting your finger on. And that is, when we watch the people who are failing, to your point, they would carve out a big agenda. And by the way, in PE, people think big. Yeah. Um, and then, because everybody was enthusiastic, they would start big and then move slow. Now the clock starts to uh, kick in, and we have this clock speed expectation because the capital isn't patient. We move slow and then we get fired because everybody's nervous because the, the curve, we're not on the curve of the, of the investment. You're absolutely right.